Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we have a regular polygon and we need to find these angles. Because this uh, polygon is regu regular polygon, that means AB and AH are congruent. In fact, all the sides are congruent, right? But that means for us that the triangle ABH is an isosceles triangle. So that means uh, angle HBA and this angle AHB are the same. I can call them both X. And if we can find this angle, angle A, then we can find the other two angles, which I said they are the same. And how do we find the measure of angle A? Don't forget that uh, we have a regular polygon. And we just need to count how many sides we have. Uh, one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is an octagon, eight sides. So for, for finding one interior angles, we're gonna use this uh, formula. Um, and minus two times 180 divided by N, where N is the number of sides. This is the formula for one interior angle. So I'm going to say here the measure of angle A, which is one of them. So we are going to have 8 minus 2 times 180 divided by 8. We're going to use the order of operation. 8 minus 2 is 6 times 180 divided by 8. And you have different choices here. You can grab a calculator and do the math, or you can simplify if you think that works fine with you. Um, for example, I will simplify here by 2, and here by 2, we end up with 4 here, and uh, 180 and 4, uh, they 4 goes in 180 uh, 45 times. And then we have just 3 times 45 here left, and that will be... 135 degrees. The measure of angle A is 135 degrees. And then, like I said, we can write this equation, the measure of angle A, plus the two axes, the angle HBA and angle AHB is 180Y, because the sum of the interior angle over triangle is 180. Uh, we're going to replace the measure of angle A with 135 plus 2x equals uh, 180. I'm going to subtract 135 from both sides. And we have 2x equals uh, 5, 8, 45 degrees. And the last thing, divide by 2x will be 22.5 if you want a decimal form for this angle. And x, remember, is nothing else than the measure of angle HBA. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back at C-square for more help. Thank you.